Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Barbie restoration video for you and this beauty is Glitterwitch Barbie. I think she came out in 1995 or 96 and she is very special to me. I know she is kind of um, unpopular. <laughs> she is a budget doll and um, you know the swimline dolls were always budget dolls. Like no shoes, straight arms, but to me she is one of the prettiest dolls ever. She was the last Barbie doll I ever asked for. Um, I wanted her for my 13th birthday and I did get her, but um, you know being on the verge of becoming a teenager and things changing so quickly and my friends being older, playing with dolls was um, suddenly over. <laughs> I still wanted to play with my dolls, but no one else did. Everyone wanted to be grown up so bad, so in a way, and I know that sounds dramatic, she represents um, the end of my childhood, if you will. I never played with her, just kept her in my closet, basically. So when I saw her on eBay, I I don't know, I just felt so emotional and I instantly bought her. <laughs> also, having Barbie dolls again reminds me of what dolls mean to me. Like, Barbies in particular will always be my favorite dolls, I think. Of course, due to nostalgia, but also because um, they are such great quality. And I don't want to be that person complaining about the quality of the current dolls, but the quality we had 30 years ago is just unmatched and I do ask myself why that is. They were able to produce great quality dolls for a fraction of the price and somehow the current dolls are not nearly as good quality as the older ones. It's just such a strange thing to me, but it is what it is. So let's focus on this beauty. The hair actually is in pretty good condition. I just feel someone cut her hair maybe. It looks a bit weird at the bottom, but I can work with that. And I also want to give her a dress, like a throw on on the beach kind of dress. I want to keep her original style. So she will keep her beautiful swimwear and I will try to do a simple dress um, that she can wear over her bikini. And I'm absolutely hopeless when it comes to sewing. So this is totally for everyone who's not very good at sewing too. I think I can still make it work though. And if I can do it, you can do it too. So I found this fabric that is already in the perfect shape for a baby doll dress. I want to wrap it around her and sew on a little button so I can close it up. And that is actually all in terms of sewing. But first I'm going to give the doll and the hair a wash. I wash the hair with um, just regular hand soap, nothing fancy, and then use um, the conditioner I use on my hair. I start combing through the hair while the conditioner is still on, that makes it much easier. Alright, so I washed the conditioner off and combed the hair again and it looks really good already. So to know what I am dealing with, I will just let the hair air dry like this. That way I can see in what condition the hair really is. And I also think the bangs will be fine and dry just like that. I don't think I will have to do anything to the bangs. So this is how it dried. I just let it dry overnight and honestly the hair is stunning. It feels so soft and nice. It's just amazing quality. But I want to give her um, her original styling, so I'm going to braid the hair. She has this crimped hairstyle, but I do not have a crimping iron, so I am just going to braid the hair. Also, the bangs are perfect. They just dry it like that. Oh, she is so pretty. To me, she is just perfect already. So here she is with her braids. I washed and conditioned her hair again and then just sectioned and braided the hair and I let it air dry overnight and yeah, this is what it looks like now. So let's take the braids out and see what it looks like.
it turned on pretty nice actually um, although the tips are straight I wasn't able to braid her hair down to the bottom um, because it's not the same length and I do believe her hair was cut so yeah all right let's do the dress I will be using one of these buttons here, um, but first I have to cut the fabric to the length I need. I don't want it to be completely transparent, so I wrap it around her twice. I will also add this later so it looks a bit more finished. So that is all I have when it comes to sewing equipment, <laughs> just this little travel kit, but that will do. So I just check where I need to put the button and then sew it on. So these are very easy to attach because of these little holes. I am making sure I put the second one, um, the one to fasten the dress on the right spot and sew that on as well. Right, now we can just wrap it around Barbie and fasten it.
I also want to add this ribbon on top of the dress um, so it looks a bit more finished. I have this multi-use glue and I am just going to glue it directly onto the fabric. Okay, that looks really nice in my humble opinion. <laughs> The original doll came um, also with a headband, so I want to give her a headband as well. I just cut um, a piece of the fabric I used for the dress to the size I want the headband to be. I cut the edges again so it looks nice and I do really like the look. So here she is in her new dress. Um, she can also wear it as a skirt. I decided to put a bow around her waist, just using the same fabric. I think that looks just beautiful. Now she can go straight from the beach to her favorite cafe. I do think she looks stunning, the face is just gorgeous. I am so so happy I have her again and this time I appreciate her even more. Let me know what you think of her and if you like 80s or 90s Barbies, let me know who your favorite Barbie is. Thanks for watching and until next time. Bye!